A top Komen executive resigned Tuesday after a flap with Planned Parenthood. Louise Radnovsky has the story and she joins us now from Washington, D.C. I simplified that greatly. Take us through this. This is a complicated story. That's actually a very good simplification. And we were talking about volatility earlier. Certainly, uh, Karen Handel's resignation today, she was the senior vice president of public policy and the woman that many people had, had identified as being behind the original decision that Komen made to try and stop funding Planned Parenthood. Her resignation today doesn't look like it's going to tamp down the controversy that Komen's been facing over the last few days at all. In fact, it almost looks certain to, to, to ensure that the debate will continue. Um, so she, she's gone now. Um, wh why, the, why the flap? Why the need? She, she suggested something. It wasn't really accepted. Now felt the need to resign. We've had plenty of executives of, of public companies, you know, make errors and then change their mind and not resign. Why does she feel the need? Well, she doesn't feel that it was an error. She feels that Komen's decision to backtrack on the policy, which they announced Friday, was a mistake. Uh, she also feels as though her role in this, while she says, she says I openly acknowledge that I, I played the role that people, people did, she feels like uh, it's been grossly mischaracterized. That's a phrase from her resignation letter. She feels as if it was made to seem as if she'd been behaving in a political way and wanting to cut the organization's ties with Planned Parenthood. She says that she was helping an organization avoid controversy, an association that was detrimental to it, and that the organization had decided that it wanted to do this even before she came on board in April 2011, and that she had the support of the board of directors when she made this move. Well, I think, I think Louise, what, what happens here is now people are going to be asking, was this, uh, uh, a uh, a I'm sorry, Karen Handel's fault? Or was this uh, part of a, uh, uh, you know, a management belief system at Komen? Uh, in other words, is the next person who's just going to replace or uh, put plan Planned Parenthood under the microscope again and look for an excuse to get to get rid of the, you know, uh, the funding? Or uh, is this have they cut out? I hate to use this expression, but cut out the cancer at Komen in terms of the people, the person who's making these controversial decisions. Well, Komen's actually a very interesting organization. It's not, uh, it's not dissimilar to a number of other charities. And there's a national organization, but there's also a number of affiliates. And what Komen did uh, last week was tell those affiliates that in future, when they decided how to make their grant allocations, which they do themselves, it's, it's fairly uh, regionally autonomous in that sense, um, they were to exclude going forward organizations that were under federal investigation and that, or, or indeed state or local investigation, under any kind of investigation. Um, and that's where the Planned Parenthood issue came in. Now, they've since yanked those guidelines and what the open question remains is what will happen when those local affiliates go forward and try to, uh, try to make their funding decisions this year. But you're right to note that there has been a, a, a reasonable amount of turnover at Coma, particularly the top leadership in the last few years. Uh, and that some of those changes may have may have brought in people with different different ideas. Certainly, in the past, Komen uh, had responded to controversy over its links with Planned Parenthood. There are obviously for for uh, anti-abortion activists and 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 Catholic leaders. This has been a, a major sore point for a number of years. In the past, Komen had said that it was unapologetic that it was going to continue and worked on ways to respond to that 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 criticism of them. Seems as if for a very brief period of time they tried to sidestep the issue altogether and of course wound up in a different kind of controversy. Right. Yeah, and a, a, a very public one now. Um, so what, what do you think happens next? Do you think this dies down or do you think the controversy runs and runs and runs? Well, I can only imagine that Komen hoped that the controversy would die down on Friday ahead of the weekend at the end of the, the, the weekly news cycle. Uh, they'd already endured a, a social media barrage that had lasted uh, sort of four days and, 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 and counting. And again, it probably continued uh, throughout the weekend. But this, this, this almost certainly doesn't help them in, in seeking to make it go away.